good to only have around five. But we've added a few just to help out U.S. Fish and Wildlife and, and stuff like that. When you have a really good dog like Harry, it's pretty easy. He's, he, he alerts on the odors that we've trained him very well, so we, we've done pretty good. No pressure, Harry. Yeah, he's a good boy. So can everybody see? I'll, I'll get him started. I do give him a few commands. It's what I give him every single day. And uh, just to get him started, I sit him down, and then I tell him to find it, and he'll, he'll, he knows his job, so you'll see him go right to the boxes. Harry, sit down. Find him. So he is treat reward, but he loves to be told he has a job to. Come on, buddy, come on. Good job. Thanks, Dean. What a good dog. I'm not going to open it up. <laughs> so he, he does not alert on any drugs. He's not a drug dog whatsoever. So, like you were saying, there might have been drugs in that one. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you know, it pops out. And they don't like us opening up packages inside the facility. <laughs> we take everything out. When we find it, we take it outside of the facility so it doesn't get loose. That's, that's at the request of FedEx and UPS and those people. And that's I don't know. Know. This is a, uh, it's a beauty snake. It's a type of uh, rat snake from Asia. Called a a uh, copperhead racer. I mean, I'm sorry, a radiated uh, rat snake or radiated racer. Non-venomous. But they come in all the time through through the airlines, and of course, they get shipped everywhere. Um, not illegal to have, but if you're going to sell it, you got to have a license with us. And if it's going across state lines, you know, um, you better live in the box. This is just a plain old simple box. So <clears throat> they get a lot of, um, of cases. Just people, they don't want, um, they don't want to label it. For either they don't know they have to label it, or because of what it is, they don't want to label. It. I don't want the whole world to know. I'm shipping off. You know, a radiated rat snake that's worth 30 bucks. Or I'm shipping off one of those, like, y'all saw the uh, pie ball, ball python, that's a $300 snake. An $800 snake, $2,000, whatever it may be. They don't want the world to know. Because uh, it's going to end up getting stolen, either by just, you know, some porch pirate or a next striker or whoever, you know. So, but um, they also don't want us to find it either. They used to. Um, ship everything out as, as they probably told you. It just, it had live reptile all over it and it had all kinds of air holes and stuff. Sometimes you might find one. It looks like something, it could have been a hole just from on the conveyor belt, just you know, going through the boxes and going through shipping stuff. <clears throat> all it takes is just one little air hole. It doesn't have to be a bunch. So they try and do different ways of, of um, circumventing them, but it's hard to, it's hard to pull the dog. It really is. And Harry's awesome. Uh, all our dogs are. They, um, they're constantly training. And even we, we trained with him on the way in here, just on the sidewalk, just to make sure he was still. Because he wanted to go to work. <clears throat> Let him work. You know. So, he's working now. Yeah. He wants his treats. Yeah. What do you guys do when y'all find um, 